Today is day two of our epic adventure here in the Appian Mountains in northwest Italy, just north of Pisa. I'm out with Kit. We stayed here last night in the hut called Refugio Forti de Mami and we're heading mostly north after a simple breakfast following some trails and tracks over ridges and through forests. Our destination, some 12 kilometres away, is the Refugio Rossi a La Pagna. Hi, I'm Warren Brandon. Welcome to another Lingley's video. Many of the huts which Kit and I visit are too high in the mountains to be accessed by road, so all the supplies that we need are either brought up by cable winched basket or helicopter. There's a one, two, one up there. Yep. One, two, one. That's the five going down. It does look like we take the left, doesn't it? And then there's a split, a three-way split there for the one, two, one. It tells you what route, what number we're on, doesn't it? I will check another final check because that seems to be taking us to Monte Moscoso on the one, two, one which I'll be 100% is right. Nicely stenciled one, two, one. The main one we're going to is Monte Ferrato. Oh yes, Monte Ferrato, yeah. Which is the famous one, because it's the one with the hole. This woodland is actually quite young. Did you see that black and white photo of the hut? No. Of, so I don't know, black and white no. age of no. photos, uh, no. where there was hardly any vegetation, woodland vegetation. Oh, right. oh yeah, as you say, significant rock face there. Oh, My goodness. Up, 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 up. Uh, Whoa. Bloody hell. Yeah, oh. up, oh. all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a motor at the top or a motor at the bottom? Oh, I couldn't see in the little hut. Yeah. But the cables were chunky. I, I, I can't imagine it being hand hauled. Yeah. The motor might be at the bottom. through. Oh yeah. We're losing the one to one. Correct. No more one to one. No more one to one and we're joining the six. Yeah, could have been a nine but it is a six. And the six is this rather larger path. Yeah. Uh, okay fine. Yeah. And they are for low level. They are yeah they're lovely. Okay. Lovely. Look they're at that. That is that's stunning. That's where we're going. Yeah. Boom, boom. So, I don't know, I didn't see the arch and the hole yet. There's an right, eight you'll down there. Six on our left. Yeah. We're looking at the six. Probably eight. Combo of six and eight here. Yeah, and then 109. Yeah, the 109 was on my GPS actually. Yeah. So six eight and then one oh nine at the Foche. Yeah. Same number of feet would have been on them. Probably, yeah. But sometimes they're a foot wide and you're pushing through the grass. And sometimes it's like this. So we've got the divergent six. Six eight. on the six on the left and eight, heading up. Yeah. To the 
the foche. Right, and the six was the cutoff. Six was the, yeah. Shortcut, yeah. Okay. Bit of sunshine. Yeah. However, La Ragazza, the girl, said that it was from Monteferrato that it gets completely open. Yep. So we will have shade. I mean, actually, yesterday, the odd tree could be found almost anywhere. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, yeah. Bit of shade. Ah, I think we've got some signposts here. This could be the Foche. The path split. Oh, lovely. And, and we are shrine. back in the sun. Oh, yes. It's a little shrine in the Foche. And here is the biggest collection That's of signs you've seen for a, a long real time. real set of arrowheads. Yep. And we have the Foche delle Porchette. Moscoso is where we've come from, 30 minutes. Alto Matana, we didn't come that way. No, we didn't. But in so. We it's on the 109. This is the path. Now. Yeah. Uh, 109 Petro Shiana we want. Yeah, that's. That one. Okay, yeah. Foche. What yeah. does that mean? Co uh, coal of some sort, maybe, yeah. 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 The yeah. coal of the porchette. But that's a very fine signpost, isn't it? Like it. But the GPS does have some of the numbers on it, so I can probably check. I do like that. Yeah, reassurance. Yeah. Little hole, mining hole. No name or anything. And in England, of course, there'll be in emergency, call this, call that. Watch this, watch that. Oh my goodness, it goes back miles. Well, not miles, but no idea. Some sort of mine. Yeah. Oh, lots of red markers, red and whites, and the 109. Like it. 109 on a little wooden board. Yep. A nice little cutting. Yeah. One oh nine. We like it. The little tower, but it is Monte Procinto. I should think to our left, which is a heck of a lump. Nine six one meters. Done well. So we're here. Yep. Foce de Petro Shiana. Oh. Momoro. Yep. Oh, yes. Monteferrato. Monte yeah. And the arch. Yep. That's the one. And away we go. Alta Via del Parco delle Apuane is very, what we're on. Very good. That's the big, the big boy. But Monteferrato. We've we just got to get Momoro. Vero, poi ci fermiamo. Siamo di città. Buongiorno. Yes, People coming down. So it's obviously a little bit of this sort of stuff. All oh, the sort of stuff that we've just done. Yeah. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, all, all the way through. <laughs> all the way through. We were there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Refugio yeah. Forte de Marmi. Yeah. We've gone round the corner. We oh, have. Yeah. Round there. Up to the Foce. Yep. Which we've just staggered up the top of on the 110. We're going to Monte Ferrato. Yep. And the, we're finishing Yeah, there. we are. Now that Got is it. making progress. Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. We're yeah, doing so okay. it's Refugio Rossi. Got some hot bits to do there. Yeah. But that isn't bad. That really is not bad. Yep. I would say where the trees rise and meet the rock. Yeah, got it. And you got the finger. The first finger, yeah. A fist. Yeah. A really big, uh, one. big one. Yeah. I think where the trees met there, I think that's where we came around the corner. Yeah. And somehow, I don't know how, we crept under the rock. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of cliff we would and then We followed it round yeah. underneath yeah. the various cliffs in the shadow. And then. And went up to that yeah. dip. Which is, I think was yeah, probably it. the first Foce. Yeah, probably was. We'd say that I yeah. suspect the second one was just down yeah. here somewhere. Down the trees. I think the first one we went out into the sunshine for the first time, didn't yeah. we? With those, um, some of these towers we saw the back of, yeah. I think, because we were round at Refugio um, Forte de Marmi, yeah. which is on the other side of those towers. So we looked up at some of the towers yeah. there, I think, as we came round. It's warm, and we're in the shade. Ah, what an awesome valley. Awesome view. Can you see the holy holy from here? And that is some arch. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go, we're gonna walk across the top. That is a big one, Kit. That is a big one. And that goes all the way through, doesn't it? It does. I can't this quite is, see. This is the one that down in the valley, I forget from where, the setting sun comes through it. The setting sun point. actually sets, uh, shines through. Or dawn or something like that. Whoa. And we are high here anyway. I'm looking over this precipice. It's hundreds of meters down, straight down. Right on top. This massive natural stone arch with the walkable narrow ridge over the top is part of the ascent up to the summit of Monte Ferrato. Absolutely. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, and that is the summit. Yeah. Yeah. Can't quite see the hole in the rock there. The eye under the arch. 
And that's it. Viva no in Salido. No, I'm fucking army. In front of you, I'm fucking army. Okay, okay. So, non di un rifugio? No, no, no. No, la città. Sì, sì, la città. Okay, ciao. Okay. Oh, quite loose here, some of this. So they're from the town? Oh, yeah. Of Fort Sidney Mars. Ah. So they're not from the refugia. So they know the route very well. This is cool. That's a big arch. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, people on top. Oh, this is perfect. Yep. Oh, it's a peak. Where are we, Monte? Ferrato. Monte Ferrato. Right on the top. Oh, a bit of a breeze too. Oh, what a view. Beautiful. So impressive. Great ocean view. What's the mountain in the background? Monte Matana. Monte Matana. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. And then we turn right and the hut will be somewhere up. You know, a bit up, not yeah. the summit obviously, but up in the stuff on the right there. Yeah yeah. So I think that's where we're going. So where we're going. You see the path? Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. I do now. So we're dipping down a bit. Well, we certainly are. Just down here somewhere. And then following that trail. That's what it is. All the way around to that kind of coal. Yeah, with a little tree. In tree, it. see the little tree, yeah. And then we turn right. Turn right there. I don't know, I suspect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a lovely ridge. Way oh. hey. Don't look down there. Well, I actually do look down there. Don't fall down there. Whoa. All the way up there. I can see some paths. Yeah. But I don't know what we're doing. No, but uh, some up. Oh. Yeah, there's. There's that big tree we've been looking at from a little tree yeah. that we've been looking at from a distance. Little tree there. And there's a couple of paths. One goes sideways, one goes straight up, and one goes diagonally. I'm yeah. Back in the sun though. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your Rossi? Up there. Oh, that's a one hour thirty. We're going to be more than that. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, that's where we started. The other side of that little lump, a big lump. Followed it around and then round and then up and round and over and round, back around and down there. 
the little tree and I think we're going the other side of the tree up and over there and dipping down the other side up there is the seven up these contours yep. to various things yep. Buca de la Neve yep. Paso Wormini de yep. la Neve yep. and at that point 1680 Buca de la Neve we turn off right to the Refugio okay oh steady needs to be the approach yeah. I can see a load of white posts with red and white markings on top Yeah, 20 minutes according to the sign. Refugio Rossi, 20 minutes. And <laughs> you've already turbo blasted off. Whoa, long day. Long day. It was going to be long. Technically quite difficult today. Perhaps not as far, not as far distance wise as uh, yesterday's little jaunt. 15k yesterday today I think 10 uh, don't know check in at the end but technically way more difficult most enjoyable must be honest tired and during the early part of the day hot seriously hot I've drunk so much water got a little bit left another junction up ahead it won't be 20 minutes for us. We go slow at this time of day. We go slow at any time of day, but we go slow anyway. So 20 minutes on the finger post really means 25 to 30 for us. Hey, that doesn't matter. Looking forward to that first pint, that first beer. Kit's gone. I need to catch him up. Following the red and whites though, very reassuring are these red and white little markers. What have we got? What does it say? I think I'm going to leave you to see this. Ten. Ten. So that this is quality. Ten is awesomely good. Those timings. 10 minutes. Yeah, 10. No, no. I mean, we've done 10 minutes. Now more than 10. Well, more than 10 minutes. It's there. See the roof. Isn't it wonderful? Excellent. Hard to explain to someone. Oh, you can't. You can't explain. Just. Ah. Oh, home for the night. Yeah. Here for the night. Oh. They said it was a great position. Yeah. That's a cracker. It is. Oh, love it. I am very, very pleased. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. I... Technically quite challenging. Yes. Not so long as yesterday in terms of distance.
What an epic day, with the amazing natural stone arch, the summit and the very taxing ascent up from the little tree to gain height again to reach the Refugio Rossi. This is trekking day two, with more to go, so please look out for further episodes in this mini-series. Thanks for watching and bye for now.